Hey guys, I'm Evan. Welcome to Country View Acres. So today we're out here at our firewood shed. This is an old shed. It's been here since for many years, since before we bought the property. And it's in pretty rough shape and I eventually want to fix this up and, and get it all repaired and looking a little bit better. But before we even think about fixing the firewood shed, we need to actually get these trees cut down here on the backside. So a lot of them have been growing there for years, maybe 20, 30 years, and they've grown up and they're growing into the roof on the backside or right up against the roof of the shed. So today that's what we're gonna be doing. We're gonna to try to cut these four or five trees down and get them uh, down safely, hopefully, without tearing up the shed even worse. So here's the five trees that I'm talking about that we're gonna to try to cut down today. And hopefully we can, we can drop most of this back here and not tear up any of our new chestnut trees that we have planted back here. But, you can see how these are growing into the roof over the years. You can see how that's kind of curling around there. And uh, these are just too close to the roof right there. And then this one is definitely, it's up against the metal of the roof. It's probably the biggest tree right here to cut down. This tree right here is still just too close. I think I'm just gonna go ahead and take it down. And then this one, this one's really, grown around it's probably halfway through the tree it's really kind of surprised that this hadn't blown over in the wind but uh, those are the trees that we're going to try to cut down today and hopefully not damage the roof too much now we will probably have, end up dropping a few of the limbs on the roof but hopefully they're small enough they don't tear anything up so i ended up renting a 45 foot towable man lift to help make this job a little bit easier so this was, I think, just under $200 for the day for a 24-hour period. And um, I set this up here in the road because the road's stable, it's solid, good place to set it up. I'm afraid if I set it up out there in the grass with the winter time, it's freezing, it's thawing, it can be muddy. I'm afraid it would, one of the legs could sink in and I think this will be the most stable place. Hopefully this works out. We're gonna try to lift up, come up over the shed roof and then try to cut the limbs down and top these trees and then work them down. And hopefully we can do all that from the man lift on this side. Hopefully this works out because this is definitely the most stable spot to set this up. You have to hold the speed button and then you have to hold one of the arrows. So I did end up bringing a uh, chainsaw and a pole saw up here. I think probably as we delim this, probably a pole saw will be easiest to start out with. Yep. All right, I am pretty much full extension right now. So not quite as far as I wanted to reach. I am still probably 10 feet away from the trees. So I will have to eventually move the, park it somewhere closer. All right, try to cut these fairly small so that they're not too much weight on the roof. All right, I think I've got this whole side delimbed. So I'm gonna have to reposition the man lift and get it a little bit closer if I'm gonna get a chainsaw and be able to top these and push them over that way. But at least all the weight is on that side of the tree now. So it should want to go that direction. 
All right, I've got the man lift repositioned. I've tried to get it as close to the uh, to the firewood shed as possible. I think I'm just a maybe a foot off of the concrete there, but hopefully this is a lot closer for me to be able to reach out there and start cutting these trees down. All right, this tree is limbed. Time to start cutting her down. So we've got the woodshed roof covered in limbs now, mostly at this end where we got the first tree down. And we did do a little bit of damage to the roof. So I had one limb that hit straight down and it ended up putting a hole in the roof there. And then I had a, a big limb that I was hoping would fall on the ground actually hit the roof. And I don't know how well you're gonna be able to tell it, but the roof is all dented in right there. So I went and got an extension ladder so I can get up and down off the roof a lot easier. And I'm gonna get back up there and I'm gonna start throwing all those limbs down. That's a lot of weight up there on the roof, all those limbs. So I'm gonna go ahead and get those tossed down to the ground. And uh, then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go up one more time and trim a few more limbs. And then I think we're gonna be ready to start dropping the rest of these trees to the ground. Oh, I'm feeling pretty good now. I think I've got them delimbed enough to fall them on the ground. I do think so.
So the trees we got left are the ones that are actually touching the roof and, and in some cases they're, they're grown around that roof metal. So I don't think I can cut those off at the ground like those other two and get them to fall because they're going to want to hold on to that corrugated metal. So I'm going to, I'm probably going to drop those exactly like I did this first one. I'm just going to notch it and cut it down from up on top of the roof from standing on the roof and I'm going to drop those two trees that way. And then afterwards, we'll come back and we'll figure out how to deal with that last 10 feet of the tree. All right, I've got the trees cut down to roof level now. And this middle one, when I was up there cutting it, you can tell this middle one was not grown into the roof very far. And I think I will be able to cut it. I think I can cut it down here at the bottom and I can get that to drop the rest of the way. But the other two are definitely grown around the roof. They're gonna take a little bit more work. But let me see if I can get this, this biggest one, this middle one, see if I can go ahead and get it down the rest of the way. Well, this one doesn't look like it's grown under it very much. I'm gonna go ahead and just try to fell this from the ground, see what happens. Well, it's definitely hanging from the roof now. I guess I get up there and hit on it with a sledgehammer and see what happens. That is exactly what I was afraid might happen. It would just stick on there like that. Woo! And we're done. Well, we got all the trees down now, so. That is exactly what I wanted to get done today. I'm gonna to come back a different day and get this all cleaned up, but I'm glad to have all those off of the roof. And now, you know, we're almost clear. Once we get this all cleaned up, we'll be clear where we can start trying to fix this up the way I want to. Now there's still a couple little trees I need to cut down. There's one back here on this corner uh, that I need to cut down. And then there's one over here on this corner or two and uh, I'll get those cut down another day when we come back and clean this up. So we're gonna probably get out the tractor with the chipper, chip up most of this small stuff, and then we'll cut everything else we can up into firewood. And that's gonna be a good bit of firewood right there. So um, yeah, I'm so glad to have this done. This has been, need to be done for a long time. I came like uh, probably 
oh man, it's probably been three, four years ago. I actually got up on that roof before. All those limbs were rubbing on that roof and I took a pole saw, an old manual pole saw, and uh, went up there and I trimmed all those limbs away from the roof. Yeah, it's probably like four years ago. But right after we, we, moved, we bought this property, there's a big tree that fell down right here and crushed this section of the roof and this has been broken forever and everybody keeps asking me when I'm gonna fix it. Well, we're finally, once we get all these trees cleaned up, we can come back and start trying to fix the woodshed the way I, I want to and hopefully add this, this end bay back on here. And if I get it made out the way I want, I'm gonna put slatted walls all the way around I'm going to put slatted walls between the bays to divide this into four different bays and then I can really stack the firewood up high and then hopefully I can actually keep all the firewood in maybe just two of the bays and then store the log splitter, maybe the wood chipper in another bay and then maybe the fourth bay I can still have for extra firewood or maybe store more equipment in. But uh, definitely this has possibilities if I get it fixed up. So the, the man lift, I'm glad I, I got it just because the way this was hanging over the roof and it had grown around the roof, I didn't think I could really try to tackle this without being able to get up there. I think limbing it, I felt more comfortable having it limbed and I think the rental was definitely worth the comfort level, being more comfortable with cutting this down. So uh, yeah, I think that was a, I'm happy that I rented the man lift just because I got everything the way I wanted it. I felt a lot better getting everything cut down. Even though I did put a few holes in the roof today, I'm not too worried about that. At least I can come back and patch that up and get this all straightened up later. But if I was gonna damage the roof, I'd rather do it today than after I fixed it all up. So it's um, just after 2.30 in the afternoon right now. And I think, I'm gonna have to look it up. I think the rental place closes at five. And I may go ahead and, and load this up and take that back tonight because that'll save me from having to get up and drive and take it back in the morning. At least I won't have to, because that's like an hour drive or a little more than an hour drive back and forth total. So um, I think I'm gonna go ahead and get this loaded up, put all my tools away for the evening and, um, and call it a night on this job. I'll come back another day and finish it up. So I know I haven't posted anything lately. It's probably been a week, maybe two weeks since I've posted a video. And what happened was, if you if you didn't see what I had posted, um, I actually got sick Thanksgiving Day. I came down with a fever Thanksgiving Day at Rebecca's family's, and then I ended up having a fever for like the next three days. My whole weekend, I ended up having a fever pretty much. And then during the week, I still had a headache and didn't feel real great. So really today, maybe yesterday is like, pretty much the first day that I really felt good so it's it's I'm glad to be back out here doing some stuff um, you can tell I'm definitely not slowed down today I'm I'm back up to my normal pace but after being sick man I was just I was drained didn't have much energy and uh, so I'm glad that I'm feeling better Rebecca was actually sick before me she was sick right up to Thanksgiving and then Thanksgiving Day I got it um, so so we were we have both been sick, um, but we're both feeling better now and ready to get a lot of stuff done this weekend. So this is the first thing to do this weekend. We're, I'm gonna clean that up another day. And then Rebecca wants to get all Christmas stuff out. So I figure after I get this taken back to the rental place, when I get back, she'll have me dragging out all the Christmas trees and the, the ornaments and all that stuff. And that's what I'll be doing the rest of the night is helping her put up all the Christmas stuff. Because typically, if we weren't feeling bad last weekend, she would have probably put it up the weekend after Thanksgiving. But um, she was still feeling not that great either, you know. So uh, anyway, that's why I haven't been posting any videos. It's kind of slowed us down getting sick. But uh, I think everything's good now. And we're going to be back out here getting some stuff done and sharing that stuff with you guys. But I think that's going to be it for today's video, guys. So, so thanks for watching. I hope you guys have a great day. I'll see you in the next one.